Hi, I'm Naridan Sarian. and in this video I'm going to show you best pipeline for adding 3D object, 3D model, static meshes, skeleton meshes, animations, and all of that from Blender to Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. Before we start, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. They helped me a lot. And next, please, 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 if you want to help me and you like my videos, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you very much. So in here, we have some character. Doesn't matter if it has animation, it has a rig, it has PBR, or doesn't matter. Whatever you have in your Blender, there is a better way to export it to Unreal Engine 5. Because I want to start a playlist of video about animations, you should learn all about rigs and animations in other software like Blender as well, right? So I'm trying to my best to not say right and okay a lot. <laughs> So let's hope I'm not saying that a lot. So in last video, I, we did talk about how you can go to file and export it as a FBX and how you can import it in Unreal Engine 5. But in this video, I'm going to show you a pipeline that is easy and it is fast. So first of all, you should go to Unreal Engine. I will put the this link in description down below. And if I forget to do that, just go to unrealengine.com and US blog download or new Blender add-ons. Okay. And when you go here, go down and click on this link for login to your epic game okay so you should log in right when you log into your epic game account go to personal go to connection here go to accounts now and connect your github account to the epic game and if you don't have github please just register there there is a lot of cool things in there right so connect it to github and then go back to this page download our new blender add-ons in arielengine.com go down and in here th then access the add-ons and documentation here click on here and it will send you to the blender tools github go down in here first thing that i'm going to show you is send to unreal so there is a cool add-on for blender that you can send and you have a live view of your 3d model from blender to unreal and it, it is too cool next one is ue to rigify don't worry about it i will talk about it first thing to do you should download this add-on send to unreal click on download add-on and in here go down and download this zip file click on it and you will download it right after you download it go to your blender go to tools go to preferences go to add-ons and in here click on install and in your download folder click on the zip file that you downloaded hit install add-on and after you hit install add-on in here search for send to unreal check it so it will be activated and after that after you activate it there will be a pipeline in here so you can see it in here so first thing to do with this pipeline click on it and go to utility and create predefined collection okay click on it and now you can see it create an export collection in here so whatever you put in this collection it will be imported to unreal engine as well next we should go to edits go to plugins and in here search for python and enable this python editor script plugin and after that search for a script editor scripting utility just enable these two python editor script plugin and editor scripting utility and after that it's better to go to tools pre edit preferences and in here search for cpu because when you are in blender uh, you want to update your unreal engine if it's uh, minimized right so or if it's in background right so uncheck this use less cpu when in background uncheck this and you all set to go so for example i want to export this 3d model to unreal engine 5 i select everything i can select it from here select all of them or hit a in here and it will select everything and we can drag and drop it to the export collection and now because it is in export collection we can go to pipeline go to export and send to unreal okay and now that we've done that if you go to unreal engine you can see it try to import it and it will import it on untitled category after that untitled asset and now you can see it in here double click on your mesh to see it clearly and you can see it right so next let me just drag and drop one of these to overseen just go close 
and you can see it in here let's just put it in here so we can see both of them in one window so for example i want to make this a smaller okay i select everything hit this on my keyboard and try to make it a smaller hit g z to bring it down like this and now if i just go to pipeline export and send to unreal you should see it that is a smaller in here as well and it's doing a good job for us it will add the material for us it will add the old static meshes for us and then uh, and the textures as well so for example let's just do another thing in here so you can see in here we have one two that there is six one two three four five six objects for just this if i hit ctrl g on my keyboard all of them will be just one and if i hit f2 on it i want to change its name to dragon okay and now if i try to export it send to unreal let's just maximize this and now you can see we have the the dragon in just one static mesh let's just delete everything and do it again in here we make it just one we put it on export collection and now if you go to pipeline export send to unreal and go to unreal now you can see it does add it to our unreal engine project it's not the only thing that it can do it can uh, export animation automatically it can do rigs as well and i will show all of them in next video that i i want to talk about how you can uh, rig your character for unreal engine and how you can use all of those animations that is already in unreal engine and how you can use all the animations on internet with whatever character that you have reuse all those free animations or retarget all of those animations i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye